they just did x squared, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So how are you going to find <coughs> the mass? The what, what's the units of this guy? Molarity, right? So, what do we do with molarity and volume? Because molarity is moles per what? Liter. Liter. Per liter. Per yeah. liter. Yeah. Per liter. So we have moles per liter. So if, if this guy is molarity is moles per liter, and you know that's 2.7 times into negative 2. Yeah. How many liters do we have? Half. Half. 0.5, right? So yeah. what do you do to those two numbers? Multiply. 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 Find your moles. Gotcha. Then I gave you the molar mass, didn't I? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Yep, that's what your x is. And who is x? I don't know. Which one of these is x? Either one, right? That either one. Good. So that's your concentration for either one. Okay. Yes. That is. Okay, one one. Yeah, because exactly, it's one to one. It, whatever your x is, is your molar. Okay. Doesn't matter because everything on that side is always going to be one mole. Okay. And your so, and your x is always one mole. Is that like the one where like sometimes in the problem they give you like the number and put it on the bottom? Um, <laughs> like in the like first one we did, yeah. it said like point ten. Only KSP problem will ask you for the molar. And then for C, it, you're gonna have to spend your time with it. So if it's A and A and A and F, you don't have to. Yes, exactly. Okay. And what's the unit of this guy? Mole. Mole, right? Which means this is how many moles for every one liter. How many liters do we have? So you just have to times that by five. No. Point five. Or point point five, five, right? Divided by two. Yes. Exactly. And that would give you your moles. For uh, the minimum mass of CA. Mm -hmm. And I oh, gave, wait, no. that, CA that gave, gave you the moles, moles and then we multiply by five. You got it. Exactly. Good. Awesome. Good job, Joe. Good. Good job. I don't know where I can go. Okay. You're done. Oh, you're done. That's your molar solubility there, right? Okay. Yep. It's for C. And what's the units of this guy? Yeah. Which means it, it's this many moles for every one liter. Okay. How many liters do you have? Yeah. Half. Half. So how many moles? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then I gave you the molar mass there. You guys alright? You guys see, right? So that's your molar solubility. That's X. Oh, pictures. Okay. So again, it's in mol molarity, and molarity means moles per what? Mol big molarity equals moles per what? Per liter. So if you have 0 0.027 molar, right? If you had one liter, you would have one zero two seven moles, right? But we don't have one liter. How many liters do we have? Yeah, which is exactly what? It's half. Yeah, because we have one liter is a, is a thousand mils, right? So that's exactly half. So if we only have half a half a liter. What are we going to have to do that number? Divide by two, exactly. And that gives your moles. Once you know your moles, remember, grams divided by molar mass gives you those moles. Okay, and I gave you the moles. Yeah, that's the formula. Exactly. Okay.